Okay, so now, before we start, don't be scared. This is what we're trying to actually achieve, right? We're trying to achieve um, a list that looks like this. And then when we click on that, we now get our recipes. So first of all, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a list of design resources, which I got from my designer. I'm gonna add this to the, sh um, to the list of resources that you can download for free. And then, um, so what is here are PNG files or basically PNG images that you can use to style your applications. So we're going to find out how to do this. So we have different things like a leather background, a leather button, sorry, a leather button and uh, others. It's probably easier to just show you how it works. So basically what I'm going to do is add all these files to my resources folder. So that's the resources folder. Okay, then we add this to our project. So if I go to resources and I say add files to free, let's browse to the resources project. So we'll just add everything for now, but it's not everything we're actually going to use, but I'll take, I'll take off the, the unneeded ones later. Okay. So where do we start with? Let's start with our cell. So our cell, we want to have a nice orange background, a frame on that picture, and then some information about that recipe here. So what we're going to do is, uh, to start, let's give uh, let's put in a image view. So this image view is gonna be the background, and then this is gonna be the size of the view itself. So let's find out how large this view is. This view is gonna it's about three eighty seven wide. Actually, that should be three twenty, because that's how the uh, that's how wide the iPhone is. And then so it's eighty six high. So we'll do the same thing here. Start from zero, three twenty, eight eighty six. Then we're gonna give. We're gonna make the image of that the background of our list, that is called list background, I think. List item. So that's a list item. So now this is basically blocking all our views now. So we would like to send this to the back. This is the. This should be the first view in our. Now we sell. So if I click on that, and I go to Editor, Arrange, Send to Back. So basically, that puts it behind all the other views in here. So now we would need to add a frame for our dish. A frame is the frame is a. Let me look for it. It's, it's an image here. List mask. It's called. Let's open that. So what it is, it's just a white rectangular image with a couple of drop shadows on the side there. So we're going to drag another image view. All right, let's make that a good look. Yeah, 77 by 77. That looks good. And then let's um, call that list mask. So that's the image frame. Oops, I've moved the wrong file. So what we want to do now is to make this image a little bit smaller than that. So if we pull that in there and try to resize it. So let me see if I can get this right. So this think the width has to be a little less. The list mask image is in front of my 
dish image so i need to send that to the back as well or oh, is that done or oh, no yep that looks more like it okay so it's almost we're almost there but i think we need to add some information here so later we're going to be using an api from punch fork the punch fork api gives us some information about it's going to give us some information about the facebook shares and then how much how many times it has been shared on twitter so let's add that information as well in our application so what we want to do is put another image view and let's have the background of that called country in the previous iPhone that's called country in the person the previous iPhone app that was giving us the type of the dish but for now we're gonna use a different info use some different information so let's resize that and then add a label So let's just say this was shared 89 times on Twitter. So that will have the value 89. Okay. So let's leave it at that. I mean, we can keep on tweaking and tweaking as we go along, but I mean, there has to be a an end point. Let's make, make that white. It's going to be last tweak. All right, that looks better. Okay. So now we've got our cell, which all we need to do now is run the application and let's see how that looks. Okay, that's it. So now we have our recipes in the list and I think that looks really nice so here we go we have our nicely styled list with a frame around the image the title of the dish and also here the number of times this has been shared on Twitter for example and um, and if we click on that we have our we still have our boring detail but we'll come to that later so you will see here that we have our navigation bar which is still the default blue so what we want to do is make that a leather theme. So we need to customize our navigation bar. So that's what we're going to do in the next video.